Rain Sink here for the Women of Marvel, and I am going to be talking with the incredible Mary Lovanos from Marvel Studios, the Director of Production and Development. Yes. Hello. What does a Director of Production and Development do at Marvel Studios for? Sure. Because I realize, you know, a lot of our friends that are listening to this are going to say, that's cool. What is that? It changes with every with every film, but for Captain Captain Marvel, um, it was my job to help make sure that creatives across the board in every department had all the tools and resources that they needed in order to tell the story. So let's talk a little bit about Captain Marvel. Yeah. Now you talked about supporting the other sort of all the different departments. All yes, the different departments. Yes. Yeah. Providing key art from the great Kelly Sue DeConnick runs and the early Captain Marvel runs to working very closely with the Air Force. You guys worked with two different Air Force bases, correct? Yes, yes. The film shot at Edwards Air Force Base, but the bulk of our research we conducted at Nellis Air Force Base with the 57th wing. Speaking with every pilot that we could getting inside their heads and they offered to fly Brie and Anna Bowden up in fighter jets and I said haha you're kidding and they were not <laughs> so that was wild so when you go back and watch the film now you've probably seen it a lot more than most of us yes. have <laughs> what part like makes you feel the most proud do you think there are a lot of parts that make me very proud um, I'll take them all <laughs> <laughs> the message that Carol Danvers didn't need fixing mm-hmm that's what gives me chills when I think about the movie. Yeah, the thing that always kind of stuck with me is it, there's a very much a feeling of like, you are enough the mm -hmm. way you are. Mm -hmm. and, and that realization that she sort of has. In the movie, the character has a problem. Then by the end of the movie, you need to fix that problem. Carol, it was the unexpected discovery of that that didn't necessarily need to happen. And it was about self-discovery. Moments that make me really, really happy when Carol screams back at the scroll. <laughs> that feels so Carol. I love Goose. I love Goose so much. Oh, and I love that Nick Fury is a cat man. I just, <laughs> it's just like a great fun who, detail for the Marvel Universe. <laughs> yeah. Mary, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Go pick up Marvel Studios Captain Marvel now on digital and on Blu-ray on June 11th.